heavens being on fire. Look at this earthquake that we're standing on right now is part of heaven. Powers in the door. You're gonna look for the sky, everything gonna be fire, man. All you're gonna see is fire. That's where you gonna be at? Where you gonna be at in this fire? This fire is steady talking about he's gonna come like a thief in the night, and you don't know when he's coming. Where you gonna be at? Where your position? When the fire comes. Are you gonna be in the chariots? Or are you gonna be on this earth burning up? It's your choice, man. Like I say, you got a choice to life or death. No other thing. Nothing else. Baby? Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Revelation 18 and 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. This is what these nations are going to be doing. They're going to be standing afar off. Read verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her. Yeah. Live deliciously with America as they see she being dissolved. Read. And sh shall bewail her. Quiet over America, be and lament for her. Crying, crying, crying for America. Oh, America! Ain't gonna be no America, oh, America, oh, America. Ain't gonna be no stars being no around and no America, the beautiful sun in this time. Read. When they shall see the smoke of her burning. You know? See, it said all the elements gonna be dissolved. And all, and then you know that somewhere across the seas, they're gonna see America burning. <laughs> the merchants, all them now, all them ships that came to America, bringing all their goods and getting paid, they're going to stand up for all. And oh, they're going to see America burning. That's what it's talking about, baby. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. For the fear of America's torment, baby. Saying, what they going to be saying? Alas! At last! Alas! At last! That great city Babylon. That great city America. Me? That mighty city. That mighty city, me? For in one hour, Hello? one hour, one hour, is thy judgment come. Is thy judgment come. Gonna burn this baby up in one hour. That's all it's gonna take. They're gonna be quiet, see the baby. Burn up. Me? Verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Born over America, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Right. No man gonna buy anything here. Because it's gonna be all dissolved, y'all. Yeah, you laugh now, but you're gonna cry later. Just like the merchant gonna be crying. You're gonna be crying. When they see the smoke of America burn. Where you gonna be at? This is where the elect gonna be at. First Thessalonians. 416. That's what he let go be. That's why we're crying out to the one third. I'm hoping that you will be one of the remnant. Want to be one of the remnant. One of the elect. Let's read. First Thessalonians 416. For Hamashiach himself shall descend from heaven. He's gonna come from the fourth dimension. But he's sitting on the right hand side of the most high. Read. With a shout. With a shout, read. With the voice of the archangel. With the voice of the archangel. Micah, Allah, the archangel of war, B. And with the trump of the most high. The trumpet of the most high. Gabriel, blow your horn, B. And the dead in Hamashiach Yahushua. Those that have died by Hashem Hamashiach Yahushua, B. Shall rise first. They're gonna rise first, man. They're gonna rise first, B. Then we which are alive. And we which are alive, B. And remain and remain on this earth at this time, we shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. We're gonna be caught up together with them in the clouds. The chariots are coming down to get to elect the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. The remnant, the ransom, the redeemed, the sanctified, the glorified, the sanctified. The sheep that hear a Mashiach Yahweh's voice. Oh, which is a 
certain number, the few, the many, the chosen of the Most High. B. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Hamashiach Yahweh Shai in the air. And so shall we ever be with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. B. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Right. And we comfort you with these words, hoping that you will have enough sense to come back to the laws that the commandments of the Most High. Be obedient to him so you can be in these chariots. That's what he told you to get Isaiah 26 and 20. Now understand this. He said he's going to destroy this place in one hour. And hopefully you're not on this earth when it's happening. Over one million degrees Fahrenheit. Burning this place up. That's what he's going to tell us. The most high will of you, brother, than you let. Listen. Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and set thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Here it is, man. Just like Noah went into the ark, the most high shut the door. Eight people. Noah, Shem, Ham, and Jeff out for their wives. Well, nobody get in that ark no more. It was done. Everybody that was outside that ark, he killed. That's the power we talk about. He killed everybody except for eight people. How many going to kill this day and time? So hey, we're talking about one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. We got them already covered. Once this fire come. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. It's like we read in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. Heard a great voice saying, Come up hither. Read. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. So we ascended up to heaven in a cloud. We got to identify this cloud. What's this cloud that we keep hearing about? We keep reading about. Hold that. Get on. Psalm 104. What we keep hearing about. Let's find out what it is. Wait. Psalms 104 and 3. Who led the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Oh, real. What the white man call UFOs. Unidentified flying out. We call them IFOs. Identified flying out. Because we knew about them even in slavery. We made the song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, but we knew it was from Israel, making these songs up. Not from the Nile, but from the Nile, because we said, I looked over Jordan. Where's the Jordan River at? In Israel. And what did I see? A band of angels coming for me. That's what we read about now. You hear it? The angel will come, man. How many? Revelation 9, 16. Angels coming to get us. That's why I say, y'all concerned about the physical realm of this world. We got spirits, man, that's gonna fight for us. The angels that love us. They get ready for us. whatever it is they want to bring, man. Me. Revelation 9 and 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen. Be that army. Well, the army you was for, to fight for you. The number of the army of the horsemen, read, were 200,000 thousand. That's right, that's how many coming to get us. 200,000 thousand, that's 200 million angels that's coming to get us. But we gotta be ready. But it's 11 and 12. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. They say, Come on up here. Come on up here. Join us. Finally. Read. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. We ascended up to heaven in a cloud. The chariot of the most high. The vehicle of the most high. Read. And their enemies beheld them. So our enemies are going to be where? Right here watching us go up in them chairs and they come down to get us. Well, oh, they're going to be able to do nothing. Because the Most High, whoever my shake up, had to destroy all the armies, all the navies.
Navies, all the Marines, all the Air Forces of all the nations. We're going to burn them up. It don't mean nothing but the smell of smoke and dust. That's what it tells us in 2nd Ezra 13, 9, 10, and 11. That's it. So what you going to be doing then? You ain't got no Army. You ain't got no Navy. You ain't got no Marines. You ain't got no Air Force. You only have yourself. <laughs> That's all you got is yourself. Like you say, I, I, I. That's all you're going to be able to depend on. Because remember the most I already said, I'm going to mock you. I'm going to laugh at you when your calamity comes. He already told you that. <laughs> I hear him talking. I don't know if you hear him, I hear him talking. You know, to the spirit of the most I hear him talking to you. You better hear what he's saying. You better do with him now before it's too late. Because it's going to come a time, he's going to cut it off. If you ain't there at the time of the cut off, too bad. You gonna laugh and mock you when you want when your fear comes. You wanna cry to him. You know how you got nerve to cry to me? Much as I've sent men out to teach you and, and, and counsel you, and you laughed at him. Oh yeah, you laughing at the most high. You think you laughing at us, you ain't laughing at us, you laughing at the most high, because it's his word. He the one talking to you. We ain't write no Bible, we ain't write this. But I know his word is true. And I know I fear him, I know I'm afraid of him, I know what it says here, I know what he's gonna do because it's beyond what you hear and I've heard and ever heard what this Bible's talking about. Because certain things as mysteries, he don't want you to know. Because he don't want everybody to be saved. It's enough that you hear it that should touch your spirit to want to know more and desire more and to know more of him. But you don't care. Y'all right there talking about Mother Nature. White man got y'all talking about El Nino and La Nina, little boy and little girl. I'm calling the most high that. He's gonna destroy you. That's right. Right along with them and everybody else that's following that. Three. Verse 13. In the same hour was was there a great earthquake. Yeah, same hour was there a great earthquake. Three. And the tenth part of the city fell. Yeah, tenth part of this world gonna fall, man. Gonna destroy ten parts of the city, read. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. That's a complete number of men gonna be killed. Seven plus zero plus zero plus zero equal what? Seven. It's a number of completion. A complete number of men gonna be destroyed. Gonna be destroyed. Destroyed. And it's destruction. We didn't want it. Don't be part of that. Don't be a part of that complete number of men that's going to be destroyed. This is real. This is real as it be. Give me all South Carolina to the moon. to the Most High for Israel, who we are. We come forth and cry to you. Tell you to come back to me. It's not too late. It ain't never too late. And you ain't never done nothing that the Most High can't forgive you. Let you blast him against the Holy Spirit. That's only forgiving the sin. And this world, the world to come. This is what you hear is the Holy Spirit. Are you going to blast him against it? It's his word, man. You better love your life, because whenever you die, you're going to suffer in torment. Or you might suffer before you die. The most high, when they're wounded and healed. So, you got a choice. Let's read. Zechariah. Zechariah 21. I lifted up my eyes again. Zechariah 21. Zephaniah 21. Gather yourselves together. Say, gather together. Right? Yeah. Gather together, O nation, not desire. It's a good nation that's not desire. Nobody care about us. Nobody care about us. But we care about everybody else. We always looking out for somebody else beside our own self. Beside our own self. O nation, not desire. Okay. Before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth, as we just read. It's gonna come like a thief in the night. You ain't gonna know when he's coming. Okay. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before the day pass as the chaff. What that is, the chaff is, they have to catch the wind, the pressure of the wind, take the weed and hold the feet and hold it up, man. And they and the wheat blow, they take the chaff, man, and cast it into the fire, man. Burn it up. Wait. 
before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. Before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you. While we here to mourn you, B. Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you. Before the day of the Most High's anger come upon you, B. Seek ye the Most High, all ye meek of the earth. We are the meek of the earth. Nobody's more meek than this. We gotta seek the Most High. Because we the meek of the earth. Which have wrought his judgment. Which have what? Wrought his judgment. So who is this talking to? Psalms 1. Put yourself back to the truth. Because if we wrought his judgment, who is the people that have been given the judgment of the most high? We are those people. Let's read about it. Okay? Psalms. 147 and 19. He shows his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Hear that? As for the judgment of the most high, these other nations have not known them. No matter what they have gone through, they have not truly learned and known the judgment of the Most High. Period. Period. Let's read on. Praise you, the Most High. Praise you, the Most High. That's what we do all day. And all the glory to heaven. Go back to Zephaniah. Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Most High, O ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. See? We the meek of the earth. We the ones that brought his judgment. See, the other nation, they have not known the judgment of the most high. Me? Seek righteousness. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. Seek meekness. Humility. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the most high's anger. Yeah, that's where you want to be, man. You want to be hid in the chariots of the most high in the day of his anger. I would say shut thy doors and for a moment to the indignation overpass. You would have been a cherished, man. Me? For Gaza. Shut us all up. Good, you know. Daniel 7 and 18. So that's why we're here to warn you. Now before you get that, give me our uh, first Corinthians. Uh, give me our uh, Psalms 110 and 1. Psalms 110 and 1. We'll get 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. Let's read. Psalms 110 and 1. That's what our King David said, baby. The Most High said unto my power, and my Shiach Yahushai, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So David prophesied that the Most High said unto his power, who is Hamashiach Yahushua to sit on the right hand of the Most High until he make his enemies his footstool. Now, First Corinthians 15, 24. First Corinthians 15 and 24. Then cometh the end. Then cometh the end. Remember we read in 2 Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau, the so-called white man, is the end of the world. So then comes the end, the end of his kingdom. Read. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom of the Most High, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. That he's going to put down all rule and authority and power. Read. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. That's right. Under his footstool, as David prophesied. Read. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. See? For he hath put all things under his feet. All things are put under his feet. Or he made all his enemies his footstool. See? But when he said all things are put under him. When he said all things are put under Hamashiach Yahushai. See? It is manifest that he is accepted. Which did put all things under him. Here we go, man. We're talking about all day. It's going to be manifest that the Most High going to be accepted that did put all things under the feet of a Mashiach Yahushua. It's going to be manifest that the Most High going to be accepted. You know why? I'm going to give you a reason why. 
the Army, the Navy, the Marines.